Crews are back at a Fall River apartment complex hours after a deadly crash sparked a big fire. Tonight, it is burning again with flames shooting out of the building. Now, the driver who crashed into that building was killed and her passenger was critically injured. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Lee Martin. Dozens are homeless tonight, forced out of that complex. Jim Smith is live tonight in Fall River, where investigators are still trying to piece together what happened there. Jim. And Liam and Lisa, this is really kind of an incredible story. Let me get out of the way and show you. For some reason, a couple of hours ago, this fire rekindled. And as you can see right now, it continues to burn. It's only the latest chapter in a strange and sad story. A long day became an even longer night for Fall River firefighters as flames again erupted at the Four Winds apartments. It's a fire that began more than 12 hours earlier when a car crashed into one of the buildings. The driver of that car, 72-year-old Judith Moretti of Fall River, was killed. Her 75-year-old female passenger is in critical condition. People inside had only minutes to get out. Oh, my God. And there was a fire like 10, 5 feet in front of our face. We just grabbed what we could and we ran out. The fire was fed by a natural gas line, which was ruptured when the car smashed into a boiler room. The boiler room's right next to us. So when the car went in, if it was five feet to the right, it was definitely going through one of our rooms. The fire chief says this was bad enough, but it could have been even worse. It could have been a disaster. Absolutely, because that fire was fed by the, the natural gas. The lines were ruptured. But now the flames are raging again. Bill Driscoll lived here, and he thinks he lost everything. He worries about his missing cats. Because they wouldn't come. The fire alarm scared them too bad. We couldn't get them in time. It was filling with smoke so fast. Just praying that they're okay. I don't know. As we said, the initial fire was caused when the gas main was struck by the car. We're not at all certain at this hour exactly what has caused this reignition. Live in Fall River, Jim Smith, WBZ News.